It's two hours before the Metropolitan Museum of Art finally opens its doors after almost six months of closure. But painter Steven Golizinski is already in place. The artist has dreamed of being the first one to enter when the museum reopens. Uh, the first thing I'm going to see is Joan of Arc. St. Joan of Arc is the painting, uh, my favorite painting in the Met, so I'm going to go there and then I'll take a look around. I have my sketch pad in my backpack. Typically, six million people visit the museum each year. Before the pandemic hit the U.S., tourists made up about 40 percent of the Met's visitors. But on this day, the line to get in consisted mostly of New Yorkers. During the pandemic, I would come to the other side of the outside of the Met and look inside at the sculpture hall because I just miss the Met so much. So I'm really happy that it's open now. Nothing cultural. Um, all the movies were at home. Everything was at home. So I'm just really excited to be out and be able to do something that's different, which should be normal. So. The Met's director, Max Hollein, greeted the first post-pandemic visitors and offered to take a picture with them. The museum had big plans to celebrate its 150th anniversary in 2020, but Holland says the focus has shifted. But right now, uh, I would say uh, our moment is we don't want to celebrate. I think we want to provide our services, especially to the New Yorkers, and we want to be part of New York coming back to a level of normalcy and uh, creating an environment that New Yorkers love and expect. The museum has lost $150 million since mid-March and laid off about 20 percent of its staff. Officials say they hope to return to normal as revenues increase again. In the meantime, visitors now have to schedule visits, check their temperature and wear face masks. Guests toured a new exhibition called Making of the Met. It's a journey through the museum's 150-year history with over 250 works of art on display. For many New Yorkers, the reopening is a sign that life is returning to normal. I followed the rules. I never came out. I stayed at home. I cleaned my house. I took care of all of my business. And this is the opening of life the way it had been known for me. Local food vendors are also heading back to work. Without the mat, for some, there was no work. We didn't expect it to, to just stop. You know what I mean? And we tried to open a couple of days after that, and there was absolutely nobody here. You know, this, this is a destination. And if the destination is closed, so it was a long five months, no work, you know. The black and white banners at the entrance are done by Yoko Ono and read Dream Together, the reflection of the power of art. For Nina Vishnyova in New York, NRI's VOA News.